Yeah, Brown just had a great chance there, but he rang it off the iron. Now two on one for the Tomahawks. Here they come, they shoot and they score. Nice shot there by Mitch Laboot. And he makes it one nothing Tomahawks as they get off to another. As Rowe will bring it out, he drops it back. For Lettery, here comes Lettery busting and he shoots. It's in behind Patey, not in the net. And the whistle goes to see Patey on the house. It's Christopher, Mitchell Christopher now with the ball. Looking for some help off the bench and he'll get it and he'll go off in his own line change. 12 minutes to go in this first period. The Dogs trail 1-0. Now Connor Brown. He's in the slot. He shoots and scores! Connor Brown. Surprise, surprise. He's on the board. And right, there's White getting it over to Cam Downey now with a Downey. Takes a hard bump into the boards, killing more time off this penalty. Now a short answer goes White all alone. He shoots. A nice save there by Kerndiff. And it's into the screen, but a nice short-handed chance. Now the Tomahawks trying to get something going on this power play. Looks pretty with some great defensive work trying to get the ball loose. Passes back, he shoots, and Patey makes the save off the stick of Simon. It's now a power play that was pretty potent against Mississauga on Wednesday night. There's a chance, and they score! Kyle Moore puts it up and over the shoulder of Kerndiff, and it's 2-1 Halton Hills, just like that. Only 10 seconds in. And now Batten's going to come up and try to get the ball loose, can't do it. Now it's Lettery with it. It's down low, there's a chance for, what a save there by Patey off the stick of Northy, and here come the Bulldogs again, killing some time off. He loses the stick. That was Christopher, but he's doing some nice penalty kill. There's again, there's a big hit there as the Bulldog is down, tumbling to the floor. Nolan Walker now with the ball for Mississauga. Drops it back for Colin Walker. He takes the return feed, it's over to Nolan. He shoots, stopped by Patey, a rebound, it's stopped again by Patey. And the penalty is over. Having go off in a line change. He leaves it there for Owen White. It's White with the ball now for Halton Hills. It's White. White still has it. 15 left on the shot clock. He's looking for an open man. But now he comes over to the side. Shoots and scores! Owen oh, White puts it in the back of the net. And it's 3-1 Bulldogs. Scores a big night here. Will he get down and, and uh, cool off his stick? We'll have to see. <laughs> now it's Downey spinning around. It's Cam Downey trying to fight off the double team. But he drops it off for Brown. Brown shoots and scores! Kerndiff didn't even flinch till it was too late. Brown's second of the night, and it's 4-1. Bracken now with it for Mississauga. But over to Simons. It's back to the point, man. He shoots and scores! There's Colin Walker. That was your... Pardon me. Yes, no, pardon me. That is actually Lettery. I saw a, I saw a four. I thought it was 24. It was actually 14. Now the Tom Ox come up again. Here's a wide open chance. They shoot, and it's stopped by Patey off the stick of Lettery. And the ball bounces back to Patey. Now he has some rough stuff maybe as Periniak is giving some business there to Lettery in front. I don't know what Periniak's issue is, but he's not liking Lettery too much. There's a chance there, and it's stopped by Patey off the stick of Rowe. Now it's Mariama with him, but he's being fought over her by a couple of Bulldogs, and the Dogs will pick up the loose ball. He is sandwiched. And oh, and a big slash there. They're going to have a delayed penalty coming up against Mississauga for that herd. It's going to be a fresh 30 on the shot clock. That's Moore. It's back to Brown. Back to Moore. Back to Brown down low. Brown shoots and scores right to the top corner. Ramona keeps those cookies. The hat trick for Connor Brown, and it's 5 2. And he will just bounce it off the boards, and it's a turnover to the Bulldogs. It's Quinn Herding now with it. He has a feed up there to Brown. He shoots. But a nice save there by Jack Kerndiff off the hot stick of Connor Brown. Katie makes the save off the stick of Rowe. Batten gets hit hard. Knocked down, no call there, but they will take over possession at center court. Oh, and down he gets held up there by Kerndiff as he runs a little bit of interference. And finally, the Tomahawks will bring it up the floor, maybe with some pressure. We'll have to see, but only 30 seconds remain on the elongated five on three for Mississauga. Now there's a chance. Trans of the slot, there's a shot and he scores! That's Alex Simons getting the goal in a power play marker, and it's 5 to the Sports Sportsflex, and as we say that, there's a goal for the Halton Hills Bulldogs. It's Kyle Moore getting his second of the night, and now it's 6-3. But we still have 440 to go in the second period. Lots of great action. Tom Hawks not done in this one yet. They are threatening again, and it's Rowe taking the feed. It's Rowe trying to spin by defender. He does, he's in alone, he shoots. A nice save there by Patey, and he'll hang on as it goes into his pads. But it all counts, Campbell Parker. 
Haven't heard much of him in this one. He had a great game last week, but Parker's been a little quiet in this one so far. Maybe it's time for him to open things up. There's a chance now for Rocco. He shoots. Nice save there by Kerndiff. Rocco gets drilled hard into the boards from behind. And that's definitely going to be a cross checking penalty there against Mississauga. Scary play there, Prash. But the action is just as hot inside the Mole Master Sportsplex. Halton Hills leads Mississauga 6 3 on the, on the Bulldogs lacrosse on TV Coach. And there's a shot and a goal for Cam Downey. He can make it 7 3, Halton Hills. And that's a that's power, Potter Brown. Penalty is over. Even strength. Potter Brown with a pass into the corner. It's picked up by Downey. He swings it back to Brown. Brown moves up. Down low to Moore, and he scores. The hat trick for Kyle Moore. Nice shot up high. And it's 9 3, Halton Hills is the. Wheels are starting to fall off the Tomahawks. Now they're waiting for a change. The men come off the bench. Nolan Walker with it for Mississauga. Nifty feed. People down low. There's a shot. It scores! Nice shot there from Alex Simons. That's his second of the night. Mississauga cuts the lead to 9 4. Lobos now gives it to Connor Brown. He goes off. So Connor Brown methodically coming slow up the court. He's trying to get his eyes going to see what play he can set up now. Almost like the Terminator. Now here he comes, he gets some open space, he shoots and scores. What a goal by Connor Brown. Another marker for the man. Number 66 makes it 10-4. 11.25 to go in the third. The Bulldogs lead 10-4 over the Tomahawks. They try to add to it. It's Moore dropping it back for Parker. He gets it down to Hodgins. It's Hodgins with it. Down to Parker, he makes a fake and then he scores. Campbell Parker, number two for him, 11-4 Bulldogs. 11 minutes to go in the third of Tomahawks trying to cut into this lead, but it's a tough task to, let's just say a tough hill to climb. But it comes one goal at a time, one shift at a time. There's a chance at a goal. As I said that, it's Gabe Piozo getting the goal. And it's 11-5, and that's what they have to do, Prash. One shift at a time. Cello waits for his makes the change, and now more time. 45 seconds remaining. On the penalties. Well, let's see what happens. They swing it around. Lettery. Back to the point to Walker. He shoots and scores. Colin Walker will bounce it by Patey. And it's 11 6. Connor Brown will move in slowly. It's Brown waiting for a pick. He'll drop it back to Parker. It's down. And there's a chance and a shot and a goal for Dakota Rocco. And a little more salt to the wound of the Tomahawks. And this and Halton Hills have a 12-6 lead on the sick of Dakota Rocco. With a hard fought 12-6 victory over the Mississauga Tomahawks at the Mold Master Sportsplex as they complete the sweep of the home and home that started in poor credit on Wednesday night. Halton Hills won that one 16-7. A little closer here in this one, only 12-6. But the Halton Hills Bulldogs will take it as they improved to 5-0 in the season.